Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. A couple of weeks ago we did this battle, a modernized version of the 1944 Battle of the Philippine Sea. We did day one, the 19th of June, otherwise known as the Great Marianas Turkey Shoot, where the Imperial Japanese forces attacked the US 5th Fleet near the Marianas. And they came off with a bloody nose because America shot loads of the Japanese planes down. You guys have now asked for a follow-up. The 20th of June, this is where the American admirals realized that the Japanese fleet had been weakened and so launched a massive counter-attack to destroy the Japanese fleet. So today I'll give you day two. Battle of the Philippine Sea, 1500 local, 20th of June, exactly when they were starting to launch the American counterattacks. Today we exclude any submarines or specialized reconnaissance aircraft. So let's remind ourselves of the geography. Here is the Marianas Island chain. Various task forces of the 5th Fleet under Spruance's command are busy capturing the islands. 100 nautical miles or so west is part of the 5th Fleet Task Force 58 under Mitchell, consisting 15 carriers, 7 battleships, 21 cruisers, 68 destroyers and 900 mixed aircraft. 400 nautical miles to the west further is the Japanese 1st Mobile Fleet. We've cut that down in half today to 185 nautical miles purely to keep the length of the video down. The 1st Mobile Fleet under the command of Ozawa and Kakuta consisted 9 carriers, 5 battleships, 9 cruisers, 31 destroyers and 6 oilers. I missed the oilers out today but we've modelled all the combat ships, 54 in total. On day one, when they launched their attacks, they had 450 carrier-based aircraft. In the real battle, most of those were shot down or forced to land at the Marianas Island chain. As far as I'm aware, 144, though, did return to the first mobile fleet. And so that's what we're starting with today for day two. So, modelled here today is the first mobile fleet with the warships as specified and 144 aircraft on the nine carriers. Those 144 aircraft, as usual, are not the correct types. They are a generic hybrid aircraft, A6M0, which are going to be anti-ship and air-to-air -air in the correct proportions. Today, those aircraft are going to take off and attack the American fleet. They didn't actually do that in the real day two, but I wanted to create as much of a challenge as possible. So today, 144 Japanese warbirds will take off once the mission starts and try and attack the American fleet. And today's American fleet is very small. As per day one of our modernized version, it is just one single 2020s aircraft carrier with no escort. Why no escort? Because I wanted to make this as hard as possible. Today's task is not just to defend against the warbirds. If you remember the first video here, that was the turkey shoot. That is where we did actually manage to shoot down all 535 Japanese warbirds, which was actually very impressive, although it was quite stressful, as you'll remember. Today we do have to shoot down or defend a carrier against those 140 odd warbirds but today's main mission is to destroy the naval fleet, the 54 ships or as many as we can. We have two types of aircraft to do that today, F-35Cs and Super Hornet. Today's F-35Cs will be taking off from the carrier. They will be armed with four AGM-158C Lorazm stealth anti-ship weapons. They will take off. In fact, I'll cut at this point. And let me tell you the problems I had in development because that will allow you to understand what we're doing today and why it's so special. These Lorazm anti-ship missiles have a range of over 200 miles. So what you'd expect me to do is take the F-35 off and fire almost immediately and they can do that at a range of about 200 miles in a standoff configuration so just salvoing all their missiles out turning around going home and landing that does work and i even tried all of the aircraft on the carrier 80 in total being f-35s carrying four larasms each totaling 320 anti-ship missiles all fired at pretty much the same time and it looks great those missiles charge in the 200 miles and strike the carrier group but if you are a regular to grim reapers naval battles you'll know it's not that simple if you fire the weapons in a standoff mode 
they decide which ships they go for. And what you get is over 300 anti-ship missiles smashing into the front ranks of this huge fleet. Row 1 gets destroyed, row 2 gets destroyed, and a bit of the row 3 gets destroyed, but nothing else. Because we don't have enough control over those anti-ship weapons, and that's exactly how it is in real life. Getting real-life anti-ship missiles to divide up these targets of these 54 ships would be very hard. So I've scratched that idea, it just doesn't work. But I found a new way to get the AI to launch these anti-ship weapons weapons and that is to instead of firing them standoff mode far and forget we can actually guide these missiles in ourselves all the way to the target and that's exactly what we're going to do today each of these f-35s has electro optical sensors on the underside of its nose those electro optical sensors allow the f-35s to manually guide in each missile to a specific target. That's great because it means we can take 54 Larasms and destroy 54 ships, one missile per ship. But there are disadvantages of this method. Disadvantage one is that you have a maximum range of 50 nautical miles. So we can't fire them out here. We've got to get within 50 miles. So today the F-35s will get to 50 miles from the carrier group then launch. The second disadvantage is that you can't fire all of your missiles at once. You have to fire one and then guide it in, which takes whatever, five, ten minutes. Loiter, guiding that weapon in with their optical sensors, then fire another one, then fire another one, and the whole process takes kind of 20 to 30 minutes. Sorry for the screaming baby in the background, by the way. I can't do much about that. So that makes the F-35s vulnerable to attack. Once they're finished guiding their weapons in, they will return to a secret hidden carrier down here. If you remember the last battle, and pretty much every battle we've had, we always have problems landing these 2020s modern aircraft back on the carrier. They gum up the carrier, mess it up, and the whole thing breaks down. So as per your request, viewers, I've put a sacrificial carrier out here for landing. You can't see it because it's invisible. But theoretically, we're giving this a test. And that leads us to today's humans. You guys have one job to defend the F-35s. This is how you're going to do it. It's going to take about 15 minutes for the F-35s to get in firing position. You are to use Super Hornets in air-to-air -air configuration to take off, well, technically just behind the carrier. You're going to go ahead of the F-35s and do as much damage to those incoming 144 World War II aircraft as possible. At the 15 minute mark, the F-35s are going to be in position to start launching their missiles. At that point, you switch from just destroying enemy aircraft to protecting the F-35s, and you will need to do that. The F-35s typically, because they're AI controlled, will make themselves very vulnerable. When they loiter here, they'll loiter at 20,000 feet at 250 knots. Which is stupid, I know, because it means a warbird can get up and shoot them, but I cannot control that. As weird as it is, that's what's going to happen. Although that will make a fun dynamic, because you've got to protect them at that point with your sidewinders and your guns. Protect them for the next 20 minutes or so until they're fired and guided in their missiles. That's your job done. You can do whatever the heck you want. Shoot down as many zeros as you can. Sounds easy, but I can guarantee it won't be. Uh, these things never are. It, this 144 guys coming towards you on your radar is not an easy thing to kill. Also, you cannot afford a single friendly fire. If you shoot down one of those F-35s, that's four ships that won't get killed. So that's a really important thing to think of. The situation when this is incredibly important. I will stop yapping, guys. I have no idea whether this is possible or not. I've tried it in single player, and it's not possible because the F-35s get shot down by zeros. But Obviously, that's why you guys are here. Predictions, please. I don't think we're going to see any ships sink. I think the F-35s Ooh. are going to get shot down. You're so pessimistic I think we'll today. See. I think we'll see lots of ships sink. I was expecting um, a massive turnout today, but people are busy. And so we've only got, wow, four guys. Sock, Poosh, Cannibal, and Strider. So I will GCR you to help you out, guys. And if need be, I will jump in a super bog to help you out. All right, guys, uh, let's get started. And here we go. 20th of June, 1944, day two of the Battle of the Philippines. I'm pausing now. Here are my guys. There's supposed to be a lot of guys today, but only four turned up. And you never know how many are going to turn up. That's life, I'm afraid. Why not crash, boys? Ladies and gentlemen, my beautiful humans! Right, out you go on a heading of 258 for a distance of 200 or so nautical miles. Let's go and have a look at today's baddies. It is Azawa's first mobile fleet. 54 warships in total. 144 aircraft for the day. Most of the aircraft were wiped out during day one or forced to land at the Marianas Islands. Some of them, 
didn't even find the Americans on day one and just ran out of fuel and had to land. I don't know what happened to them after that. Battleships today played by Yamato class. Cruisers played by Sendai class. Kamikazes are playing the uh, destroyers. And here yous are playing carriers. Today's going to be a good day, guys. I've decided today's going to be a good day. In fact, I might have time to moan. I don't really have anyone to let off steam to anymore. So, guys, while well, we've got some time, I'm going to let off some steam to you. I uh, went to bed last night. In fact, look at the F-35s taking off. I went to bed at... Look at those Larasms. Nine o'clock in the evening is as our new going to bed time because of baby. Three hours trying to get to sleep because Supercat worries about everything as usual. Finally got to sleep at midnight. Had about two hours of sleep and then woke up to, wow, inconsolable baby after two hours. Hour of trying to get him back to bed, which we did finally manage to do. And then um, just about to go to sleep again. Then at three, he starts again and that's it. He wouldn't go back to sleep. So, grand total of two hours sleep today, which is actually becoming quite a lot for me. So running on nothing but painkillers and caffeine at the moment. And I'm kind of preaching to the choir, aren't I? Because you guys, most of you, all of you, cannibal, apart from cannibal maybe, all of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. yep. Sleep is for when you're dead. Yeah, my kids start sleeping through the night at two months. Really? You son of a bee. Poosh baby best baby? That's yeah, pretty unreal. Baby. Wow, never heard of that before. Yeah, and I'm starting to get sleep It's a, I thought, here's the thing. If you want to win a war, I figured out all you've got to do is fire fireworks up so the baddies can't sleep because you cannot operate on their sleep. I'll tell you what's happened to me right now. I don't know if it's called lock jaw or something. My jaw, I can't actually operate it correctly. My jaw doesn't really work properly. Also, my right hand is starting to go numb. And this is purely because no sleep. Also, I constantly want to cry. I'm not a crier, as you know, viewers. I don't cry. But all I want to do is basically weep at the moment. Yeah, your eyes are just leaking. It's, right? <laughs> it's just sleep deprivation. Yeah, it's fine. Right, viewers. But, but I managed to put this war game together, and I'm actually really proud of it because um, we found a brand new way of firing missiles, which is interesting. Distance, guys, uh, is about 130 nautical miles, still out of the range of even the mighty JTAM. Now, the mighty JTAM um, relies on... The, the target being up high and flying at fast altitude. Uh, which is not going to happen today because they're warbirds. You'll see no gummy up carriers today. Uh, viewers, I'm just sick and tired of it, so I'm making them land a pretend carrier down to the south, if it works. Those um, Larasms are actually very heavy missiles. Would they be able to carry for? No idea. It looks kind of cool though, right? Today we're carrying 56, 14 aircraft with 56 missiles to kill 54 aircraft. Uh, Oh, uh, ships. Is it possible, viewers? Your distance is 110 nautical miles. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you the blob. Do you guys see anything on radar? Yeah, I've got something. I have contact. Just locked one up. Yeah, me too. And I'm not stealthy in any way. Well, two Probably the same one. Probably the same one. Guys, you've got to make sure you deconflict your missiles. Now, to do that, make sure you don't just fire at the front one. Fire at random ones in the blob. If you all go for the front ones, then your missiles are all going to be a big waste of time. Stock out in front. I would tell you to keep an eye on your fuel, but I don't even know if you've got fuel gauges in there. So keep an eye on your fuel if you can, I suppose. We, we do. Locked up one of the back ones. Check the super, uh, the F 35s. They're going a lot faster than I thought they were going to go. But set them to their optimum speed altitude for fuel because they need a lot of fuel for loitering while they guide their missiles in. I haven't used the Verasm in a while, viewers, but here it is. Over three million dollars a pop. Still, uh, cruise missile. While well, we've got the time viewing to Wilmington's, why don't we go and have a look at the fleet again? In real life, they weren't in a big blob like this. They were actually in, uh, what was it, Poosh? Three separate small fleets, something like that? Yeah, three separate. But, um, yeah, it just gets, it starts to get too hard for me to model at that point and get everything working. So I put them in blob. It's becoming a really hard for me to keep these 
uh, Grim Reaper's planes all work and we've got 25 of them that I maintain or we maintain. Uh, they're other people's work, but we make our own versions of them, obviously. But every time something changes in a core game, I have to go and change them all. You can imagine how much time that's taking. So I think our days are numbered of using these planes, but we're going to eke it out for as long as we can. 60 miles, guys. Um, how's your Wes looking? Just about in Wes. All right. Even the mighty JTAM viewers will not get a great range against whatever this is. 5,000 foot Warbird. Um, at 185 knots. That's physics, I'm afraid. Cannonball Fox 3. Here we go. The guys are firing. Wham! Ladies and gentlemen, that could be JTAM. Haven't fired it in a while. I've been using the A120D3 lately, America's newest actual missile. Is this ever going to be made, viewers? The JTAM? Some people say it's been cancelled. Some people say it's still being made. I don't know. Fox 3. That's about, obviously. I hope they make it. Because I'm Do we not... need to guide them all the way in? No, you don't. You fire it on SCT, then unlock. Then that switches it over to AWACS track, and it will guide itself in. And then you can just launch all of them, and then just despawn if you want, or go into a dogfight. I'm going to leave that up to you. Talking points uh, while we're waiting. Look at the altitude down at the bottom of the screen. It times it by two. That's the effective actual altitude it will be, but we are restricted by game how high we can launch these things. Push Fox 3. F-35s are 110 nautical miles out. Right, here comes the first missiles in. Let's hope they work. We've got no jammers to worry about today. We've just got... The main problem we've got, viewers, is try... Uh, you know, you've got that many radar tracks to deal with. It's a lot of radar tracks, and it will cause problems. Yes, you see what happened there, viewers? That's when it turned its own radar on, found its own target, and now it's presumably going to do a thing. I don't see any warbirds, but I assume they're there. These are very intelligent missiles. Expensive as well. Okay, first zero is yep. down. Did you put the scoreboard? Yep, here we go, here we go, here we go. My beautiful viewer, uh, viewers, my beautiful pilots, three dead. They don't know these missiles are coming in, but what they do, viewers, is once they see one of their friends get blown out of the sky, they go nuts, as you saw in the last video. It's kind of quite interesting, really, to see how AI re reacts to it. Some of you viewers are getting triggered because they use the word AI for these guys when they're not true AI. No, I get it, they're not true AI, but what else can I call them? Plus, I'm so triggered. I really am triggered at the moment, actually. Two hours sleep. Cap not happy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they went for a body. Would it happen, happen in real life? Absolutely, viewers. To the missile, a lump of metal is a lump of metal. And it will lock on to any lump of metal. Six down. 138 to go. Oh, guys, you've got a lot of work to do. Fox 3 is out. Push is getting nice and, nice and close now. Oh, look at that thing. Bend. Distances are so vast that you, you can't really see much. Seven down. Keep it going, guys. Once you fire your missiles, you can either go into ACM and dogfight, or you can respawn. Do what you think is best for the mission. I don't know what that is, by the way. Kill, kill, kill. Look at this one. This one's <laughs> I got the way over here. Bang! Nine down, ten down, 134 to go. That's still quite a lot to go. Like I said, for you as I made this mission for about 10 to 15 humans. Fox 2 range. Roger, Socky Wocky. He's using his sidewinders. 13 down. Look at the comparative um, money used, viewers. Look how expensive this missile is compared to even a modernized, inflation adjusted zero. The price of technology, I'm afraid. Okay, the guys are now in dogfight range. I would suggest firing your sidewinders off and then respawning, guys. I think if you're going to go into gun range, you're asking for trouble. You're not going to get any gun calls today. Or not effective. You're not going to get to it efficiently enough. 23 down. That's pretty good, guys. Well done. Friggin' face. The time is 13 minutes past. That means I now need you to think about switching tasks. That is, from killing these guys to defending, specifically defending the F-35s. So I need you to either disengage from what you're doing and go and fuck friendly fire. It's going to happen and you probably actually helped him out. Um, doesn't matter. I suggest once you've got your local missiles out, guys, start respawning your new jets. Get over to the F-35s and start becoming bodyguards. That's your ne next job. If you don't do that, the F-35s will get shot down. Oh. 
So, so you're moving in from, you're moving now from saturation firing to specific bodyguard duties. I'm going to keep saying that because I need to reiterate into your brain. Because any JTAMs now are likely to start killing F-35, so Strider will be the last uh, JTAM firing. That like said, I've had great fun watching these JTAMs going in, guys. Don't worry, there will be plenty more uh, mopping up afterwards to do once the um, anti-shipping is done. You have plenty to do. 38 down, 38 down, 39, you guys. You killed like 10 apiece, well done. 40 down, this is just humans viewers, with all the difficulties that come with doing this. Oh, one missed. Finally what a miss. Push, get a new plane, do I say? Become a bodyguard, do it now. Very important, you follow orders today. Uh, stride out, respawn, get back into combat and uh, become a bodyguard for the F-35s. They've only got 16 miles before they start getting intercepted, so I need to do it now. Push, listen to my orders, press the despawn button. I know you don't want to, but you do have to. You've killed 42 in the first run, so that's good. Right, you're all listening, great. Next job, guys, is to hold fire, get to the front F-35s. First, the Razzams are out, well, that was quick. And guard them, and I mean, when I mean guard them, I mean fly in formation with them and guard them from guns attack. Well, viewers, they've got to 50 miles from the carrier and they're starting to fire their first line rasms. The boys now have to protect them from swarms of air-to-air -air zeros because they're going to get up. They won't get up to Angels 36, but unfortunately what happens when this F-35 is now loitering and you see it's got a little pod under its nose. It's using that thing there to guide this missile to the specific ship. While it's doing that, annoyingly, these guys are going to get slow and they're going to get low. I can't stop that. When they get low and get slow, the Zeros will actually find them, attack them and kill them. Yeah, so we need every single one of these F-35s to, to survive for the next quarter of an hour for them to be able to guide all their missiles in. Why have I done it so fine like this, viewers, with no contingencies? It's because I want it to be hard. Hard means fun and entertainment for the viewers. There's no point in scripting these missions so we just win. That's boring for me, if nothing else. Heavens, on my two hours sleep, you was need some excitement to keep me awake. More missiles being fired out. Like I said, they can only fire one at a time because we're guiding these in manually via our electro optical sensors. Socket's the closest guy. You've got 80 miles to uh, cover and that will probably be fine. It'll be a while before these warbirds can get up. Here, here's an air-to-air -air one, you see, viewers. And it's climbing as quickly as it can, but it's only 160 knots it can climb at. Uh, it's a warbird at the end of the day. We'll eventually get up to 30,000 feet and we'll eventually start harassing them. 42 were shot down. Uh, let's have a look at these Larasms. A ways to go. Will the ships try and fire at them? Uh, no. I don't know. I actually don't know. These guys here won't attack the uh, Lightnings because they are the air to ground variant and they will. The way it works in game viewers is that uh, an air to ground variant will only ever do air to ground or unless it's really threatened, which is not feeling threatened at the moment. So it's going to go and bomb the carrier, but it's got so far to go, and it's only going at 200 knots. It'll take, an, I don't know, an hour to get there. So we've got no... Sock box threes. Don't friendly fire, sock. You've been warned a million times. If you friendly fire, you'll ruin it for everyone. First, Lerasm's going in, viewing to Wilmington's. Let's see if this all works. So I've uh, painstakingly set each of these missiles to go for a different ship. I know that sounds easy. Believe me, it's not really friggin' hard. This one appears to be missing the group altogether, but patience, patience viewers. Total expenditure, 200 million, I think that says up there, to the US taxpayer so far. Awfully worried. No, it's turning. Please say attorney. It is turning. Yes, super cap. Right, viewers, now all we've got to worry about is damage. Um, will one of these sink any of these ships? Absolutely, it would sink all of these ships. Maybe not the battleships, that's for dispute. It would e it's got penetrate. It's got a 1,000 pound penetrator warhead. It would sink a carrier easily, a World War II carrier. It would sink a World War II cruiser easily. It would sink a World War II destroyer easily. Would it sink a battleship? Well, that is something for discussion viewers. I don't know. Here we go. First kill's coming in. I'm going to weave its way through the carriers to find the specific one I asked it to target with its targeting system. It's going to be that one there. And that's how it's going to be one near the carrier. Smash. Couldn't survive it. It'll, it'll break its back. And that is two heroes down. Right, now we've got problems, guys. Now I need you to go get into the uh, F-35s in a dogfight configuration, guys. Start defending them with your guns and your sidewinders.
because the first F-35 is going to be under attack. I will be climbing up very shortly. Fox 3s. I've tried, viewers. I've asked. You heard me ask. Let's just see what happens, I guess. See how they start to get slow and low like this, viewers. It's just how they loiter. Next bunch of Blarasms going in. Bang! Another one down. Another one appears to be biting the dust somehow. Uh, how many anti-ship missiles fired? Only 16 so far. That's because it takes a long time for the reasons that we specified already. Right, this is the point where I get awfully panicky. These aim 260s. So hopefully they're not going to lock onto any stealth. Fingers crossed. Looks good so far. Right, send its own radar on. It's found a target. Don't lock a stealth. Don't lock a stealth. I beg there. It has not found a stealth. Right. We're okay so far. Sniping. And look at that. That guy was climbing up to go stealth. Suck it. Let's go and watch some um, anti-shipping going in. I want to see a battleship get here. See how much damage it will do. That's a destroyer. That's a cruiser. I'll sink it. I'll sink it. It would probably sink a modern destroyer uh, cruiser, to be honest. 12,000 tonner. Right, the boys are in here now. Attach yourself to an F-35, I would suggest, guys. And uh, use your uh, SA screen, which is your F-10 menu today. And make sure that none get gunned down. I'm using my radar to be able to differentiate altitudes. And I'm only shooting the ones that are way up there. Roger, roger. Don't shoot them if they're too close to an F-35. So I've always changed it to mine at the last second. Right. No F-35 shot down so far, and 20 anti-ship missiles fine. Alright, I'm going to go and help out here. What I'm looking for, viewers, is any possible danger, any F-35 that's in trouble. So far, the boys have done a pretty good job shooting baddies down and not goodies, which is great. Nice, clean trigger fingers today, please, guys. There are no F-35s that are imminently under threat. All the baddies that are they're still around 10,000 feet, which is great. These two are loitering, guiding in their current Lorazans, their sensors. Frustrating that they do it so slowly. I'm not an F-35 driver. Good shot, someone. Good pinpoint actioning. Yes, sir. If the baddies start getting past the F-35s, leave them. They're not, a, they're not a threat at that point. I just want to stop them. There is one climbing below the middle bunch of F-35s. It's merging with SOC. SOC port. Uh, what is that? I don't know. A clock. I'm too tired. On your left, basically. Left low. Careful not to um, get any background noise. Just make sure you gun him or something safely. Strider, look for a baddie and make sure you dispatch of it carefully. Same with Poosh now. You're mixed in with the baddies. Cannonball, everything in front of you is a baddie. So um, you're free to fire. Viewers, it's going worryingly well so far. Usually it means it's about to go very badly. Inflation adjusted 10, uh, 5 billion cost to the Japanese. Still not enough. Yamato hit yet, yeah, and I really want to see that. Another carrier down. How's this looking for your viewers? You excited? Smashing it. Real good proof of concept of tech, I think, here. Now, could the real Larasm be guided in like this? Well, who knows? Probably we could. Just like I said, this is a real problem. Defliction, for lack of a better word, of targets in a mass fleet like this. It's always going to be a nightmare for missiles that are automated. Smash. Man, I could sit and watch that all freaking day. 20. Fox 2. Right, yeah, he's about to shoot that F-30. Good shot. Look at that, he just saved that guy. Socky Wocky. Um, that was a human I just saved. Yes, it was. Just pick targets off carefully now. I'll let you get on with that. 54 zeros destroyed so far. I'm going to go and watch some more anti shipping because it's the flavour of the day, viewers. Flavour of the freaking day. What are these ships sinking at the moment? They're just thinking, why am I. Battle cruisers just. What's the famous, what's the famous quote from the British guy? Why am I battle cruisers? Oh, you guys know. From the Battle of Jutland. 29 anti ship missiles out thus far. No F 35s down, which is, means we're on task for a clean sheet, which in Grim Reapers is friggin' unheard of. Let's get out of you, shall we? Look at that. Imagine looking at that in the fleet. What's all that smoke for you as well? Presumably, it's the oil bunkers in the um, ships going up. I mean, think if an oil bunker went up, think how dirty that would burn. All friendly flights be advised. AGM 158 show up. As the same category oh as God. zeros on your radar. Please do not shoot Oops. a Lorasm down. That would be a very expensive mistake, guys. Good shot, whoever you are. I think that explains a lot. Right, hopefully we've not shot any of our Lorasms down, viewers. Because that would literally 
I have killed one. All right, so then I'm going to ask you to take the ship out that that would have taken out, but we can't do that until the end, so just stay alive for the time being. No zeros up here, are there? And now you've taken all the high ones down, so in that case, feel free to go down to 5,000 feet and just pick them off down there. Just careful not to shoot any Lorazm down. Careful not to shoot any uh, 35s down. Right, um, ships 6 plus 4 plus 9. I can't do that, my head. Too tired. 19. 19 ships down at 54. We're doing it. 57 zero shot down. I reiterate this is going boringly well, dude. Behind. Push only baddies in front of you, so you are free to fire. Strider. Yep. I got visual on them. Go Strider, just bring and wiping them out. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a good day to turn up for war games. I told the boys, I said, this is going to be fun. Some, sometimes it's often not fun. Turn up. No one freaking turns up. Nice work. Anything at low altitude at 5,000 feet. Oh, I'm not going to say because I'm going to get myself in trouble. Uh, yeah. Use your common sense pretty much. Look at this, just wiping them out. 78, well done guys, wow. And 38 anti-ship missiles out, nearly all the anti- Look, these guys have fired all their anti-ship missiles and- Oh, damn it, he's run out of fuel! Uh, there's not much I can do at that point, viewers. Why does he do that? Well, annoyingly, because you know when he's waiting, he's guiding his thing in, he does it slow, slowly. He has to use his afterburner, so he burns all his fuel off, and therefore he doesn't fire his freaking missile. Literally nothing I can do about that. I've, I've maxed his fuel out. Luckily, it's only one of them, as you can see. The rest have fired their missiles, so good. 39 anti-ship missiles down. 82 zeros down. 10 billion inflation-adjusted dollars for the Imperial uh, Japanese fleet. This one's going for a battleship. Finally, we get to see a battleship, viewers. Is it going to penetrate the armor? Predictions, can a Yamato die from a Lorazm? We've got five seconds, guys. Nope. Huh. Yes. Huh. Not a single one, not a single one. Well, we're going to see what happens. Stand by. You burn it to the hole. And, okay, it's, 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 it's on fire, question mark? Half health. It does half health. I can live with that, guys. I can say that's probably pretty good modelling. Two Lorazms. Looks like it's going to take a battleship down. But the second one will go through the hole of the, where the first one made in the armor belt. Bang. Push is Winchester to spawning. Roger. 41 anti-ship missiles down so far. Not many to go. No F-35s in imminent danger, which means you've done your job absolutely wonderfully, guys. And I don't often get to say that, do I? So I'm a happy monkey for once. Let's go and see what Sock's doing. Sock, talk us through it. What are you up to? Oh, wow, look at that. Absolutely strafing these things. Nice. How are their damage models reacting? Are they dying? Uh, it takes a lot. Oh, you got him. You can leave him. He's dropped his bombs. Once he's dropped his bombs, he's going home. 89-0 shot down by my beautiful boys. Yeah, I said it, beautiful boys. Not physically beautiful. They're terribly ugly, of course. But inside their hearts of gold. Bring out the bragging right, shall we? Holy crap. Strider, 30 kills. Amazing. Sock, 28 kills. Cannibal, 20 kills. Poosh, 14 kills. It's my boys. Uh, 44 Lorasms out, 10 to go. Uh, that many ships removed from the face of the earth. Look, they've chewed 91 zeros up, guys. There goes Sockington. Shot. Shot, you broke him to pieces. Don't you start getting hard on for that super bog, it's not allowed. Also, look at me not swearing anymore, viewers. How about that? Supercap clean mouth for once. Don't like it. But I hate it. Bernie Yamato's. And what would it do to that destroyer? It would atomize it. It would the whole thing would just just go up like a mushroom. Bang, another one down. Auto ships down viewing to Wilmington's. Oh, I love it when stuff works. Quite often, you, as if you're a regular viewer, I set things up in single player and they work beautifully in single player. Move them to multiplayer, they just stop working because there are different parameters, there are different things that are happening. It gets awfully frustrating. You put so many hours in. Well done, Sock. Oh, and here comes Cannibal with a bunch more AIM 260s. You're pretty much free fire at this point. 
almost all of the rasms that are going to be fired have now been fired. He's just, you see, this guy's run out of fuel. His launch is so long because he's fired so inefficiently, he's run himself out of fuel. Like I said, there's now I can do about that viewing to wounded. So there's going to be some inefficiencies today. This guy's still going though, look. One more to go. Ah, just look at that. Great time to catch him. Forty-eight missiles fired. That's great. Ninety-seven zeros down. Right, you've only job now, uh, guys, is to shoot the rest of those zeros down. You've still got, still got to protect the carrier, and the carrier will not defend herself. She doesn't have an escort ship. Pang. Out of guns, using my landing gear. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, suck. Oh, you just escaped to JTAM there, suck. Really are using your landing gear, aren't you? It has quite robust landing gear, you're aware of that, aren't you, Sol? She's my slam pig! Sure. These guys are damaged and heading home, although I don't see any damage on them. There you see, his engine's been hit. That one's got a bit more damage, not sure that would fly, but apparently it does fly. Last, uh, this guy's gonna fire his last missile. 49th missile. Let's have a look at the fleet and see, it's looking... No, there are eight, six, oh, I can't do that, can't view us. 34 ships dead, as in fully sunk. that oil being burned. Ms. Greta, Mrs. Ms. Thunberg will not be happy about this. Oh, it's another Yamato. I think we can count them as Yamato. Oh, it went through it. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. It went over the deck by about a foot. Did you see that, viewers? Imagine if you were one of the 2,000 sailors aboard, and that thing, as big as a car, flew over it, whatever that is, 600 knots, two feet above it. Would that be exciting enough for your viewers? Would that keep you awake? I think we could probably take these guys as out of action at this point. When it takes us that much damage, viewers, what happens is, I mean, I'm sure we've all read plenty of World War II naval books. These arrays start getting smashed. First things that usually get smashed from these things is these arrays. And a lot of these arrays, these director towers, the stereoscopic equipment starts going down. Therefore, the guns can't be aimed properly and the whole system starts to break down. The radars, these rely, even World War II, they relied on radars for, for targeting. Plus any, obviously, over the horizons work. So the ships are useless now. Cannonball, what's your altitude? 5,000. Same uh, as the bandit waddies. I won't shoot them. He's got yeah, no go ahead and shoot him. I've got no missiles. I'm He's, just gunning. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, just fire. Fine. It, it, it will do me a favor. Right, that's the last... And you ship missile down of 54 possible to no 56 possible to fire 49 were fired so seven weren't fired because of whatever you know they ran out of fuel because they're friggin idiots but still that could be worse three more in transit and like i said the boys accidentally shot down a load i forgot that we could shoot our own lyrasms down so what i should have done is put them on missile hold altogether but you know what there's one carrier left one carrier survived but it's got no planes because the boys are blowing them all up so still this is 100 percent a smash uh fleet. Oh, that one missed. Look at that. We've had our first miss, viewers. Now, that's interesting. Don't know why that is. That should theoretically not be possible by the way I guided these missiles in. Whoops. Last Laras is about to hit. Alright. Is anyone guns only and able to do some anti-shipping for me? I'm guns only, but engaged. Right. After that kill, head 250. Fox 3's many away. You fired many of them, uh, break. You're not a grump, are you? You're sock. <laughs> 110 killed. Bragging rights viewers. Look at how close the boys are. Strider, 33. Cannonball, 33. Sock, 30. Poe, 16. Oh, look at that. And the second ship on the hit on the Yamato. Now, will that kill it? Yes. I think that's killed the Yamato. Look. No, it hasn't. No, it didn't. It's got like a pixel of hill. Oh, I'll put it in red, though. That's not going anywhere. That's going to list massively, and it's going to go down to like three knots. So, yeah, I'm going to get my boys over there, and I'm going to get them to try and take out that last carrier. You've got probably 20 planes left to blow up. Smack. Nice kill. There's a twin kill, that is, with one warhead. Guys, once you've used your missiles up on this attack, I will ask you to continue towards the baddies at 250 to end uh, with your face into a carrier. 16 million. No, billion? Billion. Inflation adjusted US dollars for the cut damage we've just done. How do I calculate those values? To what I do is I get the original costs. Uh, you can find the original costs just on the internet. 
and then you just put them in a revelation ingester on Google. Other search engines are available, of course. And then plug, I plug that into the database. We just got a big database that Cortana maintains because she loves that shit. 121 zeros down, guys. Nice work. 122 zeros down. And still the guys are just killing. Just killing, killing, killing. 124 zeros down. God, I think Ben, viewers. Oof. That's all right. Box two. Bang. Nice work. 131 down. What's that one? Man, she dodged the missile. Head on, gun strafe. Can that chase him? And the next chase him. Can it catch up? Yes, it freaking can. Is the warhead big enough? Yes, it friggin' is. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever the hell happened there? Right, you've only got five active zeros, guys. Hit no kill. Push, get 250, get high, get super cruise. Four active zeros. Striders merge with one, sock merge with three. Strider, you've done your job. Head 250, two to go. The F-35 has just landed. Let's go and have a look at the invisible carrier viewers. Literally invisible. There it is. Da da da. Oh, look at that. Um, pretend you didn't see that, viewers. Better pretend you didn't. Maybe that's because it's invisible. I think it is what happened. There you go. He's back. With this new way of landing them, you can see viewers, they're not going to get gummed up, or if they do, it don't matter. Because no one's going to be taking off from it. Okay, Sock took out last one, heading towards fleet. Nice one, guys. I'm going to do final uh, kill counts. Uh, let's see. Strider was just on form today. 46 kills. Oof. Sock, 38 kills. Oh, Cannonball, 33 kills. Push, 24 kills. Nice. Right, guys, you've got one more job, which is to get to the fleet, or what's left of it, and destroy the carrier. I only care about the carrier. Welcome back, viewers. Cannonball is 20 miles out. Here's an interesting uh, point, viewers. You see that these... Lightnings are all going to land where I asked them to land, which is great. But look how one of them has ignored what I asked them to do and gone all the way back to the original carrot, even though I told him specifically not... Oh, no. He never took off. He got, he got bugged, look. Well, there's where those last four Lorasms are, guys. He never took off. That's bloody boring. God, that's frustrating. Oh, well, well, there you go. That's why it didn't work, viewers. Done my best. Why do I have to do his job? Yeah, right. Uh, Cannonball, you are to approach from the rear of the carrier. Behind that last smoking Yamato is the Hero You. And when you do put your face into it, speed does matter. Half MV squared, I think, is modelled. Don't know if the Yamato is going to fire or not. We've got 72 guns each. Yamato, 72 guns. Most of them anti-aircraft, uh, medium calibre. Will this cannon do any damage to it? Would it real life? Probably. Probably. They're wooden decks. They're not armoured. High explosive incendiary. Yeah, nothing else. You'd, you'd catch stuff on fire, wouldn't you? Especially these carriers, which are notorious for catching fire. They were, weren't they, Sock? They were. Uh, almost not as quite as uh, notorious as the USS Forest Fire. Well done. It worked. You did damage. I don't know if we're going to sink it, but we're going to do a lot of damage to it. Do it again. Guys, try and be precise with those uh, gun bullets. They dip a lot because of something called uh, gravity. Oh, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable day, guys. Uh, 16 plus 21. Carriers killed. Uh, 37. 37 ships were sunk today, guys. That's not a bad day's anti-shipping. On the nose now. That's, yep, got it. that's the Jabberwocky. Yeah, I said it, Jabberwocky. Jaws that bite, the claws that snatch. Okay. The problem we've got now, viewers, is the um, bullets dip so much on a cannon. Without a CCIP system, it's actually very hard to get those bullets on target. I know it sounds weird. Bang! Yep, more damage. Keep it coming. Right, Strider's got to find the target now. It's basically from where you are, the rear of the uh, carrier, pretty much below you. Very much on fire. And his 
style. Bang! Smash! It's heavily damaged now, oh, Beaverton Wootons. Right, we're just waiting for Sockington Walkington to come do a thing. Yep, they are very much firing back at you, aren't they? To be fair, mm -hmm. once I start getting up to speed, I won't be able to maneuver very right. much. So exactly right. A lot of this is calculating everything prior to... You're doing some calculations, though. Eyes on carrier. Good work, Sock. You got it down to uh, like 60% health, so that's great, guys. Well, that is what we in the War Games world called a good one, guys. Any highlights or anything of interest? We, I know there's a lot of ships out there, but the vast bulk of them were sunk. Yes, uh, my biggest highlight was me using my landing gear to take <laughs> one out. <laughs> It is in a sock. It's mm -hmm. good that we uh, no friendly kills. Uh, there was one friendly kill, but I'll, I'll, I'll let it off, guys. And there were no F-35 kills, guys, so well done uh, on that. Um, all right, guys, that's the Battle of Philippines done to death pretty much now. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll move on to other battles. Bye-bye for now.